<laughs> Welcome back for part two. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my phone apparently ran out of storage capacity. Um, so I've just had to spend 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, um, transferring loads of things over onto an SD card so that um, I can film the rest of this. So hopefully we can still get it in before my son comes home because, yeah, we'll have to stop them. So, um, as I was saying, um, I got this for Christmas. It's um, Sulki. I think it's pronounced silky thread. Um, I've decided that a lot of my oh, come on, focus on me. There we are. Uh, a lot of my projects I'm going to grid from now on. Um, I've done it on one of them, and although the actual process of gridding I didn't like, um, I like the freedom the gridding is giving me when I'm stitching, um, and I'm making a lot less mistakes as a result. So um, I'd asked for this, um, which I got, and very kindly. Um, I was also bought these. Need a big book. No, it's getting away. Let's see if I can get it to focus in. Yeah, three other lovely colours. I don't think they're silky. It doesn't say it's silky on it, but it looks exactly the same sort of thing. So I think I'll do exactly the same job. I'm oh, struggling to focus on me again, aren't you? Poor thing camera but I'm very tired now sorry I'm just readjusting myself um yeah so that was all um the stuff that I'd got for Christmas um I have a new start it is this little snowflake design uh, it's a Mill Hill kit um I was supposed to be doing a uh, ornament exchange before Christmas and I'm pretty sure that I completely spaced out and didn't send an ornament and just sent a card. Don't know where my head was at. It was just after the first lockdown because um, I had to send it in September because it was going to South Africa. I haven't heard that it's been received yet so could still be stuck in, in ether. Ether? Somewhere between here and South Africa. It's not really the ether, it's the world. Um, so let's see if I can get this to, there we are. So it's all kind of gold and it's um, got all the beautiful like bugle beads, I think they're called in with it and the threads. Um, I'm finding it a lot harder than I thought it would be. Why are you really struggling to focus on me today? Um, let's see if I, if I do that, does that help? Nope. Um, I'll try and keep my head centered and hope that it works. Uh, yeah, um, cause they kind of, they come off in like radiating patterns. Yeah, it's, it's more complicated than I thought it would be, but I think it'll end up looking lovely. So, um, anyway, yeah, I was supposed to do an ornament exchange, so I'm going to do this for the ornament exchange and I will send it when I finished it and, um, I've already apologized to the lady, um, but yeah, it will get there. It will be late. It'll be in for the next Christmas, but it will get there and I will do it. Um, so that's my new start. Um, I've got a finish. <laughs> I cannot believe I got this finished, but I finally, finally did. I almost started to finish it the other night and then I realized that there's a tiny little bit of blue red not done, but it is finished. The map of United Kingdom and I'm not tall enough. Oh yeah. So um wasn't sure whether I wanted to do the title um in the correct colours, but I decided that I would stick with it and I think it's come out really really nice. So I love the little deer, the little stag. So I'm so struggling to focus today, phone. I don't need to have a problem with my phone. Sorry, eye is itching. Do it out of Hebrides. So I did this on count 14, Ada. Um, it was the called for. Um, it was a design in the Cross Stitcher magazine. Um, and they asked, still not focusing. I apologise for this. I don't really know what to do other than to keep tapping the screen to sell it off. Um, and the linen was, linen, Ada, was from Lakeside Needlecraft. Um, 
so yeah i just literally went on there and um ordered exactly what i was supposed to put it on So big, there's so much to show. <laughs> Angel of the North, Whitby. We were going to go to Whitby. Um, we always go to the seaside on New Year's Day, but because of COVID, um, we decided that it, we didn't really want to be going into um, into places because you never know whether you've got it and you you're um, unaware of it. So that's why I live in York, and Whitby's just up here. So about an hour, hour and a half. An hour of hobby drives, hour and a half if I drive, because I drive slow. My arms again, I don't know. I'm so sorry if this is blurry. Um, if you follow me on Silver Bunny Stitches on um, Instagram, I put up loads of photos that aren't blurry of it. So you'll be able to see it. Oh goodness. This was not supposed to be this complicated. Right, last little bit. <laughs> and then we're done. There we are. So thoroughly enjoyed stitching it. Um but towards the end I found it um quite hard going um because I was under a time deadline. I'm I'm hoping I can now get the piece to my dad. Um if you don't live in England, um, the corona um, has got a bit crazy over here. We've got um, a really contagious strain of it which is going around. Um, so places are kind of um, going into tier four, which is almost total lockdown. You're not really supposed to leave your house apart from uh, exercise or um, essential travels, like to get food or the doctors or something um and we're not quite there yet uh where i live in york it's mainly the south of the country which has been the worst affected but it is coming north and our rates in york have tripled um in like two weeks so it's definitely here um it's just getting a, getting going um so yeah i'm hoping i can get to see my dad but stuff's moving so quickly quickly at the moment that you make a plan um and the next day, um, you can be in lockdown and unable to come out. But there's a lovely little mouse size nibble bit <laughs> there. Um, when I was doing the back stitching, um, I was doing some back stitching over uh, over here, and um, I accidentally sewed my project to the back. Total rookie mistake. Um, but it was too much and too complicated to um, just rip out the stitching um so i ended up cutting a little bit of the aid about and then like frame the edges and then you got kind of um pulling out a big chunk of it but i've got plenty of uh, i've got more than i enough on need uh, i have more than enough to get it framed on the outside so it shouldn't be a problem for, for the framers i don't have to do anything else with this now apart from iron it because my mum and dad want to pick out a frame for it so that's brilliant that's really good from my perspective um, I've been planning on with my um, Halloween on a broom. I haven't got much done because I've been focusing on some other projects, but now um, I'm working on this a bit more. Um, so I think last night I got some of this black done uh, while we're watching um, a film. And I sat it on this bit, which is quite complicated because it's going in like stripe lines up this way, and um, the pattern has the back stitch on, and a lot of the back stitch goes over the pattern, so it's. It's been a bit more complicated than I thought it would be. Um, what else was I going to say about this? Um, what was I going to say about it? You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Can I hold it up here for a second and see if it jogs my memory? Oh yes, um, I have I joined a Facebook group during the year called um, magical school of magical stitches might right um that's the general thing anyway and um you read books and um you stitch towards um goals and targets when i say i joined i didn't like properly join um i just skulked around in the background um, i'm just starting it 
today because it's the Saturday on the new year of it. Um, so I, I'm finding my feet. <laughs> but I'm going to use this for one of the things this week, which was we have to write down this code word <laughs> on a bit of paper and then we have to stitch as many stitches as we can over this weekend and then we have to show them or tell them how much progress we've made with another picture. Um, I'm finding it all quite complicated, but I think once I've got my head around it, it'll be really good and I'll really, really enjoy it. But I'll just have to get better with it. Um, but very exciting for me, um, I have some, finally, ha, fin fully finished objects. Um, these are, Some of these are things that I've made literally years ago um, and one of them um, I just finished this week. Um, I'm usually horrific at doing um, fully finishes, but um, for some reason, this last couple of weeks, I've been like, no, you need to finish them off because I go back into storage because um, I've got a lot of um, Halloween things and Christmas things. I was like, I go back into storage and then when they come out next year, you're going to have to just have like scrappy bits of fabric, which, you know, are not finished and the edges of them look like this. On display and really you spent all this time and effort doing these projects and they should be displayed nicely and a few weeks ago I read something I think it was said um, it's better to start something and kind of I want to say do a bad job but I don't think that was how it was phrased it was like have an end that isn't as perfect as you want it to be rather than not doing it not doing it at all um, so anyway, um, I've got a Mill Hill kit, which I did earlier this year, which I finished entirely. I just literally had to put some felt backing on it. It took me like two minutes, not two minutes, but you know, it really didn't take very long at all. So why I hadn't got around to doing it, I don't know. Uh, I've got another Mill Hill kit that's finished. This is a Halloween one, um, which I had finished for Halloween. Yeah, I couldn't display it because it was a fridge magnet and I hadn't, yeah, I know it doesn't match up, but yeah, as they said, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, anyway, my fridge is grey, so you'll you'll won't see um, any light coming through. But yeah, again, it was just two minutes. I just used a glue gun and attached the magnet on the back. Yeah, I couldn't really properly display it, and it's been sat on um, the table next to our sofa literally for two months. Um, so I'm feeling good and motivated about finishing things. This one I did years ago. Um, and again, it was just a scrappy bit of fabric which we brought out every year and just put up. And I think he is so cute, his little nose. So cute. Lucas, there we are. So it's Winter Wonderland. Some little bunnies, I love bunnies. So, and all I did was put it onto mat board um, and I used, um, like double sided stick back to stick it down didn't take me long again this one is um yeah again another finish from ages ago um years gone by i think it was before i had my son so that'd be at least five or six years um this one was on i think this is my first ever attempt at linen um i've it's not perfect it's um bigger here than it is here. My friend said it should have been um stretched first. Not gonna worry about that. Um I will just put a trim of some description around it next year. Uh, next year. Yeah, probably next probably will be next year. I can hear my son's come back. Um he didn't quite make it, so I'll just finish off with this quickly and say bye. <laughs> Incoming. Hello, Monkey. Are you going to say hello to the people? There's people in here. Okay. Come here. Hi. If they can see you, you can see them. <laughs> okay. All right, Monkey. Um, you go off to the lounge for a couple of minutes and I'll be finished. Okay. okay. Sticky boy. <laughs> so he's gorgeous, but yeah. Um, I finally finished this, which I've been working on for ages. It was supposed to be finished by Halloween. It wasn't, but even more excitingly, look, 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 look. It is a flat fold card first one I've ever done. I wanted to give it a go. I don't know if I'm going to do another one. Definitely not this year. I might have, um, I'm, like Christmas next year, I may have forgotten the horror <laughs> that it was. Uh, when I take it out at Halloween, it may very well fall apart. Um, yeah, 
Um, I had glue problems where my glue was so old, I was, I'm used in so long, that I was trying to pour it out and it was just coming out in massive gloops or like not at all and you'd be like, and you'd be like, bloop, everywhere and you'd be like, no! <laughs> so yeah, that was quite funny. I was like getting right in there, like mixing around my fingers. It was disgusting, but yeah. Hopefully it's all done. It looks really nice. Um, so hopefully it'll be okay. And I suppose the nice thing with using, um, I did use double-sided sticky tape on some of it. If it does come off and fall apart, I'll just stick it back on again. So I'm going to say bye now because my son's not going to leave me long before he's hammering the door down um, to come back in again. Um, but as always, everybody stay safe. Um, I hope 2021 is kinder to people than 2020 has been. And I hope um, you can all get vaccinated soon against COVID if you want a vaccine. Um, I know there are people that don't want one for, for various reasons. Um, I can't wait personally. Uh, I'm counting down the days till my letter comes. Um, so yes, stay safe, um, take care and um, I will speak to you all soon. Bye.